Well, my paints got in today, at least the uh, second batch, the live tones. And initially I had ordered the uh, the bird sampler kit, but they kind of confused uh, the batch and did not send me the retarder. They sent me the uh, thinner. Nevertheless, um, here's the batch for the that comes in the um, bird sample kit. And they send you a pale blue, neutral gray, Miller tanned, Miller Millard tanned. What is that? Payne's gray, dusty pine, wood duck yellow. Looks like dark red. Millard orange. And initially it came with the thinner. But that was wrong. And it also comes with the satin top coat. I called and I complained that it did not come with the retarder, so they sent me a, a substitute bottle, no charge. And this is what came in today. The instructions for that particular uh, creation calls for the yellow orchard and also gill red and off white. I also received my magic scope. And initially they had told me it was going to be an off-white. Well, I consider this more of a uh, an off-gray, light gray, which is perfect. That's what I wanted. And today I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach the eyes to the skull. But I will not build the, uh, I guess they call them eye rings today. But I did purchase a sample of what they should look like. These are intended for smaller bird, uh, smaller eyes. And I'll get started in a little bit. By the way, this stuff is somewhat tacky. I don't care for it. But we'll see. It's my first time using it. Okay, we're going to take um, some of this sc magic scope and Get the eyeballs in there. I just realized this stuff is tacky, and I didn't want, I do not want to get any of this tacky stuff in the eyeballs. So let's see how am I going to do this. Okay. Just put a little mount here. Oh, that's my dog in the background again. She's snoring. Oh. By the way, when the skull came in, the eyes, the sockets were not uniform, so I had to go out and purchase. Let me show you what I did. I mean, these bits, I don't recall what they call them, but it actually, uh, I used a three-quarter inch to kind of hollow out that whole section there. Here's your other end bolt. I'm going to have to wipe these out a little bit with some water because I notice there's a film on it and it's coming from my fingers. I hate working with tacky clays. Oh. You're able to use this stuff with water. So in a little bit I'm going to go ahead and get a soft oh. brush and try to clean out the eyes nicely. Oh. See, I'm going to make sure they're they're nice and symmetrical. They look like crazy eyes. And after this sets, I'll go ahead and build my 
eye ring around this here and kind of fill this section in. Hey, crazy bird. That looks pretty good there. Not bug eyed. Take a bird's eye view here, and it looks pretty symmetrical. Mm, looks pretty good. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is put on my oh man glasses, these magnifiers, and I'm going to try to fill in some of the uh, cavities in here. I'm going to see how it's going to work. Now for that I'll be using this tool here, the sculpting tool. Um, okay, there's quite a few in these cavities. A couple of days ago I took the claw here and used detergent to wash it in order to remove all the oh, any traces of the release agent they may have used when they cast at this piece. I'm going to apply some of this somewhat generously later I'll come back and oh. kind of cut it back to the big old I'm not sure if you can see it but right here oh. that's a big old cavity there it's almost the size of a BB This is perfect. Um, when I was ordering his scalp stuff, I wanted the what they refer to as a natural, which is basically this grayish one. And a young lady had said that they carry the off-white. Well, working with off-white or white medium, it just you know, it'll drive you blind if, if you know what I mean. It's very hard for your eyes to constantly be staring at that. So this actually works nicely. Oh. So all I'm doing right now is just doing a small section, see if I like the way it works. Because if, if this doesn't work for me, oh. I'm just going to revert to the uh, Bondo, but right now it looks like it just may work fine. Oh. I'm hoping the camera's in focus. jump to one of these claws here. This is only my test piece. If I like the result, I'll continue with the rest, but I want to make sure this is going to adhere 
to this resin. Oh. I'll revisit this area here in a little bit oh. with some water just to kind of smooth it out. This one, I'm going to redo this whole section here, it's kind of um, no detail there. I guess they might have had a rest job there. Darn Tara. Good morning, sleepyhead. <laughs> Back to bed. Sometimes using your fingers a lot quicker. Apparently this magic sculpt gives you a three hour window to work with. After that it's supposed to get pretty hard from what I understand from the instructions. Now, I will revisit this a couple of times. This is just the first coat. I'll apply the coat, come back and add some more fill to it if I need to. Then I'll go ahead and uh, use some tools to basically re-sculpt it if I have to. Also, use sandpaper to find it, sand it down. Then I'll probably revisit the piece again with more magic sculpt. It just basically, you go back and forth, back and forth to get what you need. And there's a hell of a lot more of these little uh, oh. crevices I have to fill. I just wish they would have uh, placed this piece inside a vacuum when they were casting it. It would have made my life easier. Either a vacuum or a, a pressure chamber. Oh. Turn this off for now and go get a brush and water and work on those areas. Okay, here we are back with the uh, brush. It's somewhat of a nylon brush. And I have some water down in the cup there. So, according to this here, 
That's a little heavy. You should be able to take water and blend this. Mm, that's not bad. It's always a good idea to do most of your cleanup, as much cleanup as you can, otherwise, once this thing hardens, it's a lot more work for you. It looks like it's going to work just fine. I like the way it's actually blending. Let's do this big section here. Once these uh, talons are detailed, I'll go ahead and airbrush them. I prefer prefer airbrushing versus using a paintbrush. section here I'm going to have to give another heavy coat and then come back and sand and kind of clean it up okay let me grab the other one I should do it for now. Once this dries, I'll, I'll see what kind of results I'm getting and see how well that actual magic sculpt adhered to the uh, resin. And I'll go back and apply more and kind of clean these up a little. Here I have somewhat of a distorted claw here, so I gotta clean that up. <coughs> 